Alright you guys, we're going to go look at this one in a couple different ways. The first way is using that equation stuff where we had uh, the time it takes both of them to, to perform the job and if we divide that by the time it takes for say machine A and we can add that to the total time it takes both of them and divide it by say machine B in this case and that should equal should equal 1. Now we do know something about this problem. It tells us that the time it takes both of these machines to work this job is going to be 42 hours, right? So we know that. And if we say that A here is the old, so let's go and replace that. We say this is the old machine and a B is the new machine, then we should be able to figure something out in terms of uh, what values to replace for the old and the new. Particularly, the new machine will work six times as fast, which means that the old, uh, if we look at x, let's go ahead and say that x is the amount of time it takes specifically for the new machine to complete the job then I can just replace the new with the X value there. The old machine, however, uh, it's going to take six times that amount. So in this case, right, we've got six times the amount of time it would take the new machine to complete that job. Now, at this point, we need common denominators so we can add those two fractions together meaning that I need a 6x over here as well. So I need to multiply the 42 by 6 also. And that gives me 6 times 42 is that brown 252 right there. So now what I can do is write the expression there on the left side of the equal sign as one full fraction with those common denominators of 6x. So this is what I have now. I got 42 plus that 252 over 6x. What I'm going to do now is add those two together and when I do that, that gives me a 294 over that 6x that should equal 1. So if I multiply both sides by 6x, then these 6x's cancel out and I'm left with 294 equals 6x. So if I divide both sides by 6, then I have a coefficient of x that's 1 and we find that the new machine would take 49 hours to complete the job. Now that's just the new machine. The old machine is going to take six times as long so the old will take six times that amount so six times 49 which uh, well we already found that to be uh, 294 hours there and uh, there we go that's our two answers so working together and they seem a little bit off right I mean 49 is a lot faster than the 294 hours but in comparison uh, yeah that would be six times as fast there Now we can also look at this just a little bit differently if we want to. For example, if we said, uh, well, how much of the job can be done in one hour, right? Well, that would be one forty-second of the job for both of them to do in one hour. Now if we compare these, right, we have the new machine. Uh, the new machine in that one forty-second 
of the job would complete one X of the job because we don't know how much of the job it would complete in that much time. Uh, let's go ahead and consider the old one. The old machine will complete the same as the new machine, just uh, we're going to have to divide that by six. So in one hour, the new machine would complete one X of the job. And the old machine would complete the same, the same amount as the new machine, but a sixth of that, so we're going to divide it by six. Meaning that if we add these two together, then we should get one forty-second of the job. Now just looking at that blue part, we have one over x divided by six, right? So that's really one over x times, because that would be six over one. We can reciprocate that and make it one sixth. That, if we multiply the numerators and denominators, we get 1 over 6x. So I'm going to rewrite the equation using that 1 over 6x. Now remember, that's how much each of these will complete in 1 42nd uh, of the job, which is, again, 1 hour. So from here, if we have common denominators, we can get rid of them all. Uh, or we can cross-multiply if we can make this a uh, proportion, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is make the denominators equal so that we have one final equation on this. So, in other words, the 42, which will be the common denominator for each of these, uh, but see how these two terms, the x, the red and the blue, have an x? The 42 doesn't have an x. So I need to multiply by an x, but in order not to change the value of that fraction, I'll need to multiply the 1 by x as well. And that gives me x over 42x, right? On the other hand, though, if I multiply the x by 42, then I'll have the same common denominator of 42x, but I also have to multiply the numerator as well. Same idea there. We're going to go ahead and do that with the 6x, but Instead of multiplying it by 42, I need to multiply both of these by 7. So I have 7 over 42x. And, of course, when I add those together, I should get x over 42x. And that's the nice thing about having common denominators, is when we have common denom denominators, we get to pretty much ignore them. So this is going to give us a brand new equation which is going to be looking very similar. So I've got that 42 plus the 7 will equal our x. So let me go ahead and put the plus and the equals. And x, of course, was uh, the amount of time that it would take for the new machine to perform the job, right? So 42 plus 7, that's going to give us 49 equals x. Because it's one x of the job from what we were looking at, which means it would be 1 49th. So in one hour, which is 1 42nd of the job, the new machine would complete 1 49th, which again represents that hour. So if we wanted it to complete all of it, then it would be 42, I'm sorry, 49 hours to complete a full job. So how do we figure out how many hours it would be for the old machine? Again, 49 times the 6, and that gives us 294 hours for the old machine.